Hello everyone, this is Thorarex and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do another outfit workflow. And this is the one I'm gonna use for today. This is the last one. Actually, I couldn't find exactly the same list. So I have found this one and I'm gonna use this one for today's. So let's get started. This is the mesh I'm gonna use. It's the double layer one. I have already opened it from editor. You can click here to get all the maps. Let's download and you just have to click, uh, select everything and right click and download. Uh, I already have those files. I'll be searching those files from my computer. Okay, so this is the one. Yeah, I need to. I need to snap this one to here. Okay, ready to go now. So for this one, I'm gonna use this layer and this layer and the skin tight layer. That is skin tight layer for the general audience. We need to hide the, the general audience area. So we're gonna use that one. So let's remove the hand. I'll apply a small black file. One is removed and this is also the end of the body shoot. I don't need that one so I'll remove that one as well. And I'm gonna remove this two. This is the body shoot one. Actually both are body shoot but this one from here there won't be a bump. It is straight. But the other body shoot one has a bump inside there. So I'm gonna remove those two files. And for the skin tight one, I'm gonna use this one. This one has a very small area. I just paint white for the general audience only. I'm gonna make this outfit as a AP one, but for now I'll just use this one. Let's apply a big texture now. So I'm gonna apply all these layers that I need. A big file for there. Okay, now we are done from here. We can open the, those files from Photoshop. But before that, I need to save this one to my folder. And now I'll run my action command to open all the files inside that file folder. I'm gonna remove all the small files which open. Okay, now I'm left with only six files. Now I'll bring the UV map. Where's that one? Anyways, I couldn't find that, but I can use 
some other one you can just download it from the page i'm using this one because it's kind of same one so i have pasted it here and reduced the opacity to 50 percent and i'm gonna create a new layer in between and i'll select from this marquee tool up to here and i'll apply black so that was blue so i will just darken it and from here as the one yeah this is the one so it goes to the side i can put it here that side I'll make the this strip last but now I'm I will make this curve maybe I can go up to here I think this much would be okay Okay, like, like this way I can go. Yeah, let's remove that part. So I'll apply black, I'll make a duplicate and I'll flip it. I'm gonna save it and see. Yeah, I think that will work. Maybe I should make it more longer from there. So I'll change to the marker rectangle marker tool and I'll merge all these things. I'll apply white there. I think I should go more love. Yeah, I think that much will work. So now I'll take a copy of this layer. And I'll bring it to the back side. And I'll take a portion from here and I'll drag it all the way to the other side. I'm gonna make this side a bit up. So I I take the mark circle mark you. Is that circle? I think it's ellipse. I think that is too much. I'll merge everything. I'll change to the rectangular marker tool. I'll drag this part a bit higher. I want a very small curve in there.
Okay, now I'm gonna make the color part. I'll change the brush. I'll make the brush a bit smaller and I'll change the foreground to white. I think that much will work. I'm gonna stroke path. I'll delete this area. And I'm gonna flip and I'm, I'm running my action. Not sure what's happening from there. I think I should bring it more higher. Yeah, that much is okay. Yeah, I made um, that curve too much. So I'll try to just push it back. Yeah, that is okay. So I can again stroke part there. Now I'm going to drag this part. When we put the lace here, it will look fine. Even this part will fix. I still have no idea why this one is connected. Yeah, maybe because I'm working on a different uh, UV map. Maybe that is the reason. Yeah, that is not a big problem. So I'll take a copy of this and I'll paste it here, Control shift v I'm gonna change to the ellipse tool, ellipse marker tool. I really I really should bring that layer there. So that is top front. This is the one. So I'll paste this one and delete the other one. I 
Okay, that's the problem. So I'll just drag this to this side. I want to move only this side, so I'll hold shift. I'll cut this side to a new layer and delete the other part. Now I'll just flip this one. So it seems like one side is bigger. So I should bring this one to this side. Yeah, that will work. Maybe I should make a line here. I just flipped it now. Okay, I will bring this one a bit higher. Okay, that's okay for now. <laughs> so I'll merge everything. And I will select the, the white areas and I'll contract it. With 5 pixel. But that is too much. 4 pixel. And I'll fill it with black. I fill it with white so I will invert. Now I will delete this part from that with marker tool. That is too wide I think so I'll make it smaller and I'll make one I can't select one pixel yeah that is okay Yeah, that, that is good. So I'm going to take a copy and bring this one to this side. I'll reduce the opacity a bit down. I'll take a selection from here and I'll warp it. So 
one that is too much. Well, let's see. So from there, there is a problem. I'll make a copy from there. I'll bring it to a new layer. But that is wrong. Maybe, maybe I can select from there. this part and i can expand the selection and delete that part yeah that is good now So now these layers are separated, I mean the blacks are on a separate layer, so I'll make that one opacity 50% or maybe 70%. And I'll check the use blending on. Okay, I need to cut one more line from here. So I'll make a new layer. And I'll cut from there. I want on this side to be thicker. So I'll apply white here. That is good, but I'll bring this one a bit down. So now I'll just use this, this blue to the back side as well. Now I have to do the less part. So I make this one bigger and I'll try to I'll take a print screen of this. Now I'll just take this one to my other window or maybe here I can put Now I'll paste it here and I'll make it smaller I'll fit it to the canvas Maybe this much is okay so I'll just mark it 
right click and I will give a color to that and I will hide it and I will make a duplicate of it so and I'm gonna use this one so what I will do is I go to selection and color range and I will take all the legs from that and I'll hit the delete button I think it removes everything okay, that is good I'll mark this one as well with yellow I'll take a copy of that I'll put it this one this side and here I'll put it here and I'll just delete the rest and again I will take a copy of the yellow one I'll rotate this one I'll invert the selection and delete the necessary parts I'll take again a new copy That is okay, I'll just merge everything and I'll take a copy again. This time I will give another color blue. And this delay I'm gonna use. I'll just hold control and click this layer, the thumbnail. I think I should invert the selection and delete. Okay, I don't like this side, so what I will do is I'll break this part. I mean, I'll just Cut and copy. No, not from there. Only this area I want. So I'll cut the selection and I'll put it to a new layer. Now I'm gonna. I actually I don't. I want to break this one. I don't want this flower, this petal to go this side. So I'll make a selection and I'll bring this side to that, that, that side okay, that is not working I'll march again both this time I'll take this side up to here Make a new layer and I will apply black here and I will make a duplicate. Now I'll just run my action so it will create a new layer and it will flip. That is the action I have created. You want to check that it is in my. Oh, I will just link the video here. You can check the how I did that. So I will merge this both layer and I will hold control and select the layer. Now go to this layer. Now I will go to transform and I will just flip it. 
Yeah, that is okay now. Again, I hold control and click the thumbnail of this layer. And I'll invert the selection and I'll delete it. And this is the white layer, so I'll just hold control and click the thumbnail of that layer as well. Delete this part. So this is the one, I have to make a duplicate again. So now I'll just hit Ctrl U to bring up hue saturation layer. I'll bring the lightness all the way to the right side. It's 100%. Okay, now I'll take this uh, I'll take a copy of this one and I'll bring it here I'll just apply and see how it is Maybe I should put a line there I'll just flip this one to other side. It's too big. So I'll just go to the crop tool and I'll crop it. Now I'll flip it. And I'll select control and click the thumbnail to make the selection. I'll invert the selection and I'll hit delete button to delete. I'll make a copy of that. Now make this layer all the way to 100%. Oh, I forgot this area. So now I'll, I'll take a copy of this and I'll bring it to the texture and I'll paste it here. I'll bring this uh, blue one. And I'll hold Alt and I'll make a clipping mask. You have to click in between these two lines. So once the arrow comes, that arrow comes, you can click, so it will be click. It will clip to this layer. Now I'll change this one to color bone. Yeah, color bone. I'll make this layer white. That's white. Now I'm thinking to which color to use there. Maybe I can select a skin color. Okay, I need the lines. So how to bring those lines? So I'll just hide this layer. Hide this layer.
but this is 70% I'll make it all the way to 100% and I'll make a print screen so I'll make a print screen I'll just cut this one and I'll bring it here I'll paste it here I should tap this blue color from here so I'll apply the blue color and I'll change the blending to multiply and I'll merge this two layer I'm just trying I think it will work So it didn't work that way. I'll just undo. I'll go to selection, color range, and I'll take all the whites. I'll make a new layer and apply this blue. So I'll do the same for the other side. I'll make a copy of this layer. I'll paste it here and I'll clip it. I'll make this 100%. I'll take a screenshot, Control, Alt, Shift, and E to take a print screen of all the layers. I'll take all the whites, make a new layer and apply this color there. I'll make a new layer from this one. Now bring it. Maybe I'll go for blue then. It looks much better in this. But that looks much better then. Let's try this color burn layer or something else. Yeah, that one gives a lot of lights. Color, <laughs> light and color, yeah. Yeah, 
that one is called color light on color okay now i'll just bring this layer this is the layer that layers layer i'll bring it up i'll try another blending again yeah soft light is working well on this So I'll bring this one up. Now change to soft light. I should put some layers there. Maybe I'll take from there and put there. So I'll take only this portion. So what I will do, I'll just take a selection here and I'll apply this color there. So from there I'm gonna take. So I'll just take a print screen of all the layers and I'll select from this layer, control and click the layer and take that portion only. I'll bring this one Wait, I should bring <laughs> Yeah, that's the one I'll bring this one also Yeah, I'll take a print screen I'll cut it and bring it to here and I'll take a, take a portion from here as well. Now I'll delete this. So now I'll just uh, select both layers. Control, Shift, Shift and Select. I'll bring this. Now I'll just delete from there. I'll invert the selection and I'll delete. And from here I'll just Turn the blend into lighten. I'll save this and I'll take a copy of this one, Ctrl C and, and I'll paste it here. Ctrl Shift and V. How to cut that one? Maybe yeah, I think I have to cut just manually.
We'll just invert and digit. I'm gonna use the same one for there. So this is the one and this. I, I have deleted that. Now what to do? I'll just undo until I get that. Okay. Now I should bring this one there, this two layer. I'll change the blend into lighten. I'll invert and delete and save. I'll bring this one. I'll take a copy and control shift and V to paste exactly the same location. Now again I'm going to bring the this layer I'll take a print screen oh it's already there so I'll take a color range and take that color Now I'll just contract this one. Two pixel is too much. So one pixel. I'll take a lighter color from here. I'll apply that color. I'll bring this line. I'll take a copy of that. I'll bring it down to here. Yeah, I'll delete some part. Just delete in this some areas.
I will take a soft brush. I'll just save this one. I'll take a copy of this. I'll paste it here. I'll delete this part. I'll bring this one a bit higher. I'll wrap this one a bit. Yeah, there is uh, some issues. I don't think I can fix that one now. That is the line, so maybe. Maybe I can just color that white and make it thicker. Yeah, that will work. So I think it's done now. Okay, there's this line I have to make. So I'll just take that one. I'll go inside and bring this one. I'll open this one in Photoshop and I'll update. So I'm already done now. I don't need all the, file, all the layers. That line is too small. So I'll make a duplicate and I'll bring it here. I'll just flip it to the other side. I'll take this, I'll take a copy of this and I'll bring it here. I'll merge everything, now I'll take a print screen and I'll take this line. I'll take a copy of that one and I'll rotate it, bring it here. I'll just flip it. Yeah, that looks good now. I'll take a print screen again. Now I'll go to filter and paint doves. Okay, it didn't work too well on this one. So what I'll do is I'll just make it sharper. Sharper. 
sharpen not that way I'll take a print screen of all the layers and I'll run the same filter again. Maybe Maybe I can make both sides a bit lighter. So I'll make a, I think, okay, the whole thing I will duplicate. I change this one to light and screen. Now I'll erase some parts. From there and here. Yeah, that looks much better. I'll take a print screen of this and I will make a duplicate and go to the screen and I'll erase from here. Did it from one side too much? Or maybe I should did it from both side. I'm gonna make this a bit shorter from here, this line. Take a copy and I'll paste it here. Yeah, so <laughs> that's it then. I hope you will, you guys will enjoy this video. So just let me know. What do you think about this one? I really like how the lace came out. Okay then, I'll see you guys again in another video. Bye everyone.